whenever you're starting from a macro perspective, I like to go top down. I'm not sure, Bernice, that's your, your approach as well, but uh, I'd be curious to hear also about yours. Um, and it's, you know, it, start, it all starts from monetary policies and fiscal policies, because those dictate the rhythm of how the economic cycle goes. So uh, let's say we're in an overheating economy. What's going to bring it down is maybe higher taxes, lower deficits, uh, higher interest rates mm. and quantitative tightening, for example. So I think if, if, if you want to start getting into macroeconomics and understanding fundamentals, that's the first thing you should start understanding monetary policies, because you, you should see the economy as this car and the guy driving it is basically if you're talking about the US economy, Powell and Donald Trump on the side. Mm. So so if I had to start somewhere, that's where I would start understanding. And burn yourself, I think you have a pretty unique uh, approach because well, your Nasdaq, hence the hat, uh, your your sugar and also palladium, and you were mentioning certain trades that are things that I've never looked at a chart at. So why is it that you end up taking trades on certain things that are less conventional? Well, first of all, let me um, apologize for my voice. Um, I'm a bit sick. Um, if we had done this a podcast yesterday, I couldn't have joined but it's the first day. Um, I have a little bit of a voice, so uh, I sound like I'm in the middle of the puberty, so uh, sorry for that, guys. Follow if you're done with surface-level trading and want real market mastery.